Hi, I'm Jamie Oberg, and today I'm bringing you with me on my first documentary shoot of this semester. So the first thing I do when I wake up is feed my cats. It's not really a choice I make, they just sit at my door as you can see and meow until I get up and feed them. So first I feed my kittens, that's Mac and Mogwai, and they eat in a different room than my big cat because he has a special food with medicine in it. But once the cats are ready to go, I start getting myself ready. That starts with picking out an outfit, and then I'll do my hair and my makeup. So now that I'm all ready, I'm gonna make sure that my gear is ready. I have two mics today, receivers and transmitters in both. So I'm gonna need eight batteries. I know I don't have any, so I'm gonna leave a little bit early and go grab some from the store. And we're shooting on two different cameras today. I'm gonna be using the Sony FX3. Super cool, very excited to use it. I'm gonna first put my battery in. Made sure to charge all of my batteries last night. Almost forgot, which would have been terrible. And just plug that in. And then I just got some new SD cards. So I'm gonna put that in, make sure that's all formatted and ready to go. I'm gonna grab my biggest backpack. I'm gonna see how much I can fit in here. I think no matter what, I'm gonna be carrying two or three other bags. Definitely put my mics in here. Extra SD cards. This should definitely be in a case. I have my notebook somewhere. Ah. Notebook, got some snacks, of course. Could be a several hour shoot. Water bottle, hydration, super important. Now I have extra batteries, extra chargers. Gonna throw a phone charger in here too. Wallet, some painkiller, and other random necessities. I should be good to go. All right, so I am back from my side quest. I acquired enough batteries for all of my mics. And since I was doing good on time, I also grabbed some bubble tea. I don't drink coffee, so that's gonna be my source of caffeine for the day. So I said that today's the first shoot of my documentary. I didn't say what my documentary is about. My documentary is focusing on a genderqueer tattoo artist named Ray. We're gonna be talking about like their experience with gender and how body modifications and tattooing and just art in general have helped them explore that. This is a topic that I'm super passionate and excited about. I'm non-binary, trans, I have a very gender fluid presentation. I super love body modifications. And I think with every one of those body mods, I've felt more comfortable with my body. I think for a lot of trans people, being able to take ownership of your body through body modifications is a big thing. And I think body mods give a lot of trans people more uh, bodily autonomy and like, make them feel more comfortable in their skin. So I think this is a really cool way to look at how gender is complicated, gender's not binary, transitioning isn't linear, to show more trans representation, and to look at what tattoos mean to a lot of people. So it's going to show a lot about the industry, a lot about representation, and a lot about gender. And today we're mostly shooting B-roll. Ray's going to be tattooing their partner. So I got about a 20 minute drive, and then we will be ready to shoot. As soon as I got there, I found Mel, who's gonna help me shoot today, and we made our way into the building. It's in this really cool historic building, but it's a little bit hard to find. But eventually we did, and here we are at Raven and Rose Tattoo Studio. Once we were inside, we started setting up our gear. It's a lot of testing the mics and that sort of thing. Then we set up the area, moved some things around to make sure it would be easy to shoot. And then if you see us in the corner, we're setting our white balance right now, making sure our cameras are good to go. And then we started shooting. So I'm going to show you the footage of us moving around and shooting, and then I'll show you the raw footage.
And then when we were done, we said bye to Ray. And we said bye to the studio. And then we made our way back to our car with lots of heavy equipment to carry and a ton of editing to do.